Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Guys, today topic is very important for civil engineering students, also for civil engineers. Because many students, they don't know that why stirrups are provide in beam, in RCC beam. What's the reason behind this? If we don't provide stirrups in beam, so what happened with beam? So today I will clear your concept about stirrups and beam what's the reason so let's start guys the topic is why stirrups are provided and beam guys you can see this is assembly supported beam here we have this is one support and this is second support okay so what's the reason that we provide stirrups and beam reason is shear force because shear force is maximum at the end of the support shear force is maximum at the support point at this point and also at this point guys if we apply the load on the beam for example this is the load on different point and also we have uniformly distribution distributed load okay this is also for example this is 5 kilonewton this is 10 kilonewton this is 15 kilonewton etc so this is just example okay so guys all load which comes on the beam so beam transfer this load to the columns and columns are support so the load the beam transfer the load to the supports so therefore we have guys here i will make a diagram a diagram of shear force then you will see guys you can see right here guys this is support okay so here this support is going to the upward side here this right and here the other one is you can see now when the load comes on the beam so beam transfer the whole load transfer beam to the support okay so here guys we have more stresses more shear force here is more shear force maximum shear force shear force at the end so guys shear force want to cut the beam section on that point where is more shear force more shear stresses so here here we have the download okay downside uh, okay downside or uh, okay so here we have the upload okay so this is downward load okay so it coming to the downside and this is going to the upward side so here it makes stresses so stresses is maximum and the force and shear force want to cut beam at that point where shear force is maximum remember this point so here guys this it want to slip a section so it become like this okay so it become the diagram become like this here is again support so here is maximum again you can see downward this is maximum so at this point also shear force is maximum also at this point but near with support you can see so it become low okay shear force is low here okay so this is minimum also this is more low okay so here at this point this is zero consider you can say here uh, shear force is zero at the mid point so this is uh, this is the diagram of shear force so now guys here when you make a beam here like this Guys, you can see here the stirrups should be provided with closed space. Okay, because there are more shear stresses at the end, at the support. Also, same here. Okay. So guys you can see so at the mid you can see this is zero so there the space should be more maximum like this 
This is the point. When the share for share for share force is coming low, okay, so you can see this is low to the low side again here like this, and here is maximum, so you can see the stirrups should be placed closely, the spacing should be minimum. But here the share force is minimum, you can see, so therefore the stirrups should be placed uh, with more space and near with support it should be spaced closely. So this is the main reason to provide stirrups and beam, okay, with more space and also with uh, less space, right? So guys, this is the diagram of shear force, therefore we provide. Now guys, we are uh, here, uh, the shear force is minimum, but here is a bending moment is a maximum. And big bending moment is a force which want to make a structure bend. It want to provide bending in a structure, if that is beam or if that is column, anything. But shear force want to cut the beam section where shear force is maximum. So here shear force is maximum, so therefore we provide more amount of stirrups near its support because at support there are more shear stresses. But here this is minimum shear force at the midpoint, okay, and also at this point, so there the stirrups should be placed with more space. So here this D should be minimum, distance should be minimum and this D should be maximum at the mid. Okay, so this is the reason that we provide stirrups and beam. Also guys, here is some questions. One point, we provide We provide stirrups to, to the first one to resist shear force, second to resist shear force, second to hold longitudinal bar. longitudinal bars you can see here we have longitudinal bars and beam therefore third to avoid cracks and beam okay so etc because here the shear force want to cut the object so the structure will be failed so if you don't provide the stirrup, so what will happen with beam? So you know that first of all, the longitudinal bars cannot be held because it can make a good bond. Okay. Also, if you don't provide, so here in these points, especially at the support, so the structure will be crack and it will be cut. Okay. So also, uh, stirrup is resist with earthquake okay this is also the main point so guys this is the very useful topic which i have discussed the front of you and i cleared your concept why stirrups are placed in rcc beam so guys if you have any question about this video so you can comment i will try to reply your answer if this video is helpful for you so don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel with press bell icon if you are new thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye